Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video. This is the card that I have for you today and I'm going to show you how I made it but make it slightly differently to hopefully give you some more ideas. These are the dies that I used to make this card. These ones came off of a recent paper crafting magazine that I bought because I've been spending a lot of time in hospital waiting rooms recently and I, I wanted something to read. So those are new to me. And then this one is also new to me. I picked this one up at a charity shop. It came in a set and it just cuts a wavy line and has some stitching along it. To change things up ever so slightly, I'm going to use this one, which has got a slightly different pattern to this one. And I'm going to create my front panel the other way around this time, I think. I think I'll have the colour on the left instead of on the right. So that's going to go there. Then hold it in place with a bit of washi tape and put it here along the bit that I'm discarding. This is the bit that I'm keeping just in case it rips. So there we go, that's got some little semicircles punched out all the way down. So a little bit of extra detail there, I think. So this is going to go on here like this. So I want to colour this bit. For this one I blended worn lipstick and dried marigold and, and got a nice blend together. For this card I'm going to change the colours up ever so slightly. We're going to have scattered straw. And then, no that's the wrong colour, picked raspberry. I do like a nice blend of pink and yellow so that's that on top of there but before I stick this down I'm going to put this through an embossing folder because I want to emboss a pattern on there this is a tattered lace embossing folder with a repeating floral pattern on it and it's in the same kind of, what's the word, abstract comic style flower. So I think it'll work. So now that's got some lovely pattern texture on there. So again, before I stick anything down, I want to splatter on some gold. So I've got a bit of water on my palette here and I've got here Warm Wishes Luscious Powder and I'm going to mix that with water and use that for splattering. And this cardstock is linen textured cardstock and it's really absorbent so it sucks the liquid in straight away and leaves the gold sitting on top. It's very pretty. I'm just going to give that a blast with my hairdryer and now I can add my front panel I'm going to pop it up on craft foam or foam tape rather to give it a bit of lift and dimension to help me curve the tape around. I take the release paper off first and then it's much easier to curve your foam tape. And a little trick for making sure things line up properly is to use a scoreboard or a stamp tool, a stamp positioner, and you can pop that right into the corner and then press this right into the corner before you stick it down and then it should be perfectly aligned along those two sides at least. So this is now ready to go on my card blank and I can stick it down in exactly the same way by lining it up perfectly using the scoreboard. So we've got a bit more detail on this one. We've got these semicircles punched out. We've got some pattern and some splatter. So to create my flowers, I'm going to colour some card with the picked raspberry and the scattered straw. I'm going to try and keep the colours pure, as it were, so not blending them. 
So they've got a bit of extra brightness to them. So I, I ran the two colours together and overlapped them a lot. So they're not their pure colour on there. But if I make these the pure colour, they'll really pop. But they'll still harmonise with what's on there because they're essentially uh, all made up of the same colours. So there we go with some pink. And now some yellow. And I will come back to you when I've cut out lots of these. So there we go, lots of little flowers. Now I just need my tacky glue and I'm gonna pop a bit of glue in the center of my pink big ones and then put the yellow here. like that and then the yellow big ones I'll put the pink centers in so all my flowers need centers and I'm going to do them white I did think about coloring some card with the luscious powder but I think I need to bring the white to the foreground I help think that will help the cohesiveness of the card so on this one, I clustered them down here, but I'm wondering about having more of a, a trail going up. I'm not sure. Something like that maybe. I think this pink one here I want to pop up on craft foam so I'll do that and this one here I'm going to put the flat and tuck it underneath so I want a bit of variation in height in my flowers and again, this yellow one here, I think, will have flat. I want to rotate them a bit so they're not all facing in the same direction. Pop this one up, I think. like that arrangement I do think we do need some leaves so I've got some bundled sage here and I'm going to color this bit with it and then die cut out some leaves I'm going to stip the stip snip the stem off of these leaves because I'm just going to tuck them under and they're going to get in the way and I've cut these I think they've got little flowers on but the little leaves might be helpful so we'll just see how we get on. A bit more glue. So I've got a different arrangement of flowers there. Before I go any further, I want to add some glossy accents to the flower centers. I did that on here and I think it adds a nice little bit of shine. For my sentiment on this card, I'm gonna use this thanks die and cut it out of gold glitter cardstock, which is not dissimilar to the Warm Wishes Luscious Powder. So I'm thinking that could go there. On this one, I use the gold glitter cardstock. The die 
cut it's ever so thin it's really pretty and delicate but it does i think need its shadow which i made from vellum so i think that stands out nicely on there but i don't think this needs anything behind it i don't think it needs vellum i think it might make it too big but i am going to add craft foam or foam tape to the back of most of it so that it stands up properly and i've got these really skinny strips of foam tape and i'll just cut them into little bits that will fit behind where's it gone there fit behind the thicker parts of these letters just going to add a bit of glue to allow me to wiggle the sentiment into place So there we go, two cards made with essentially the same supply, slightly different colours, slightly different arrangement. Which one are you leaning towards? I'm leaning towards this one. I really liked this when I made it and I still like it. Um, but I'm thinking, although I do like that blend, uh, it's a little plain and I'm not overly keen on just having sort of one colour of flower. But this one, I think I like the texture and the splatter in the background and having yellow and pink flowers kind of lifts it a bit, I think. So I'm thinking this one is my favourite. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer and what your thinking is behind that. I'd be really interested to find out. Right, I think that'll do. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you back here very soon. Bye for now. Mm.